Let's speak Korean. Je 61회 더워서 죽겠어. 안녕하세요. Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Speak Korean. I'm your host Lisa Kelly and today is our 61st episode and today's main expression is 더워서 죽겠어. 죽겠어 means I feel like dying, but here it's spoken like it's, I'm so hot I could die. All right, let's go and meet our wonderful friend here. Hello, how are you, Steve? Good, how are you doing, Lisa? 안녕하세요. I'm Stephen Revere. It's good to be with you all again. 죽지 마세요. Okay, don't die. This is an expression you'll hear a lot in Korea. 죽겠어, I'm gonna yeah. die. So you, when you have difficulties. It's just yeah, a figurative just expression. Just a figure of speech, but mm -hmm. uh, um, when you want to make a joke about it, you can say, 죽지 마세요. Speaking of which, you huh? look a little hot there. It's so hot here, it, it isn't it? No, I don't feel hot. Uh, Why'd you wear a sweatshirt today? <sighs> <laughs> anyway, 안녕하세요, Naomi입니다. Today I look like PP long stock, stocking. Yeah, that's right. So can I leave a message to our coordinators? Sure, okay. sure, sure. Uh, coordinators, 언니들, because there are two. Uh -huh. 언니들, 예쁘게 해줘서 고마워요. Very good. Thank you for making me look so pretty. How are you, Niti? Mm, 안녕하세요, Niti입니다. I don't feel hot today. It's okay. Yeah, I, I, That's because so you're from hot. Malaysia. Yeah. 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 Malaysia you, you is so with, hot. You're you used to it. You can withstand everything. Here. Yeah, I don't feel very hot. I, I, I suppose it's probably all the yeah, lighting in yeah. here. Yeah. Right. Well, like, chamo. Yeah. <laughs> well, chamo. Yeah. All right. All right, everyone. Let's go and take a look at what we'll be learning for today. Let's do it. 더워서 죽겠어. 그럼 목욕부터 해. All right, we heard 더워서 죽겠다, 더워서 죽겠어. But I say this a lot too, but I usually leave out the 서, and that's perfectly fine. You can say 더워 죽겠어, mm. or um, uh, you can say 슬퍼 죽겠어, 배고파 죽겠어. That's right. All right, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's try the pronunciation on this. It's pretty easy. 더워 죽겠어. 더워 죽겠어. 더워 죽겠어. Stephen, explain and, for yeah, us. Yeah, originally you're supposed to use saw. You can say it without mm. it. Most people do. But you also put saw in there. Now, you might wonder, why can't you put inika? Because I'm hot, I'm going to die. Because with inika, you're using a different subject, okay? Mm. Inika is used when you have one subject for the beginning, the reason, and then a different subject afterward with the result. But here with Saul, that's used when you have the same subject for both parts. I am hot, so I'm gonna die, right? To all Saul, chukesa, same thing. In my mind, in the translation, when you say chukesa, mm. the, there's the because I am already there in the sa. So that's why you don't kind of need it in the beginning. All right, let's try this with something else. It's an easy expression. We usually say, I'm so hungry, I could die, mm. or, you know, I could <laughs> eat a cow. All the time. All right, so let's try this one. 배고파 죽겠어. 배고파 죽겠어. 배고파 죽겠어. 배고파 죽겠어. And I use this one all the time. 보고 싶어 죽겠어. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you so much or I miss you so much. I could die. Okay, okay. Your, your boyfriend? Yeah, yeah that's right. Okay. Um, <laughs> 보고 싶어 죽겠어. Or, or it's just a, it's a cute expression. You don't have to memorize it. 배, uh, 보고파 is what yeah. I say. Good. 보고 싶어 죽겠어. 음. 보고 싶어 죽겠어. Can you think of one on your own? 음. 음. 어, 피곤해 죽겠어. Good. Mm. Okay. Tired. Mm -hmm. 음. 겨울에는 추워서 죽겠어. Uh -huh. oh, In the good. winter, I'm so cold I could die. And 피곤해 죽겠어 is something that we use a lot too. Okay. As a rule of thumb, remember that you want to use negative things with 죽겠어. Okay. I guess you could say a positive thing, but as a rule of thumb, generally, 99% of the time we would do something negative like tired. Mm or missing someone or cold. And a lot of t a lot of the times the saw may be omitted. Yes. But what you have to be careful of is because saw is supposed to go in there, you have to remember that saw is never used with past tense or 
future tense. You don't use tense with saw. You do use tense with inika, but you do not use tenses with saw. The tense comes at the end. So let's say Niti saying, mm -hmm. he wanted to say, ah, Jinan, Kyore, Chuoso, Goseng, Hesseo. Goseng is have a difficult time, hardship. go through har a hardship of some sort. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Goseng, uh, Hesseo. Then the past tense comes out, okay? You can't say, I died, because you didn't die, right? So we're not going to use that expression. Mm -hmm. you just say, you had a really difficult time. Goseng, mm Hesseo. -hmm. That's where the tense would come out. Okay, and the response, usually if someone says something like that, then you give them advice or you tell them what to do. So the response was, then go take a bath or go take a shower first. Okay, kudam, blank, puto, blank. Okay, is the structure that you would use, kudam, blank, puto, blank. And then here we're saying, kudam, bogyuk, puto, he. Okay, since we're hot and we're sweaty, they are telling them, then take a shower first. And what you can guess from this sentence is that they have a couple of things to do. They've got a few things that they have to get taken care of. And the first thing, they said, well, since you're hot, take a shower first okay, before we do anything else. Yeah. Okay. 그럼 발음부터 따라하세요. Okay. Start with repeating. Okay. 그럼 목욕부터 해. 그럼 목욕부터 해. 그럼 목욕부터 해. Let's say I said I was hungry. 배고파 죽겠어. Then what would you probably tell me first? 그럼 밥부터 먹어. Good. Okay. 그럼 밥부터 먹어. Then uh, start off with eating something, right? Mm -hmm. Or 몸 uh, 말려 죽겠어. I'm very thirsty. What would you tell me, mm. Niti? 물. Uh, 그럼 물부터 해. 물부터 mm -hmm. 마셔. Okay. 물부터 you 마셔. can't do water, uh, you have to drink 마셔. water. So you have to change the verb and then you have to tell me what mm -hmm. you're going to tell me to do. Very good. Let's go over to wrap it up and see what we've covered so far. Wrap it up with Lisa and Steven. 피곤해 죽겠어. 나는 배고파 죽겠어. 그럼 밥부터 먹고 시작. 좋아, 뭘 먹을까? Okay, we heard another bonus expression in there, and this is something that we should definitely get down. 쉬다, 쉬다. 그럼 쉬자. Okay, what does this mean, 그럼 쉬자? Okay, then do what? Yeah, then let's rest, right? 쉬다, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. To uh, rest mm -hmm. is the verb. Notice the pronunciation. Originally, it should be like she, right? Mm -hmm. The it's we mm -hmm. is how it's written. We, but actually, and it, it ends up being pronounced she. she. Yeah, they, we don't quite do the we part so much on this verb. Uh, I think partly because she is much more what children call pee pee. <laughs> Urine. I, when children have to go to the bathroom, they say she, she. They, so what ends up happening when you say rest, you end up saying she a lot more. You heard it in Lisa's pronunciation. Right. She said she a lot more than she, right? Shija, let's take a break. Right. And you use many different forms of this because it's used so often. Kurum jum sho means get some rest. Okay, mani sho so. Did you get a lot of rest? Jum shigui so. Then get some rest. Sit still. Mm -hmm. That one gets really difficult, doesn't it? Jom sha. She ah yo is the uh, the way that that's written. The original pronunciation is she ah yo. Jom she ah yo. If you put it all the way out, but when that gets con conjugated and then pushed together, it becomes jom sha. Take a rest. All right, Stephen. Stephen is so uh, missing his girlfriend. Uh, Stephen, come on, say it for us. 보고 싶어 죽겠어. Aww. 어디 있는지 몰라요. Give me a girlfriend that I can use the term. Alright, you guys tell him what to do. Mm. How about calling him? Oh, yeah. okay. mm, 그럼 mm. 전화, 전화 전화부터 해. Okay. Anyways, thank you for joining us here at Let's Be Korean. Today was a pretty fun day. We got to use a lot of different expressions with our pattern. Join us next time, and we'll see you then. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Bye.